Um, I think that there's probably multiple reasons why there aren't so many women traders. Um, if we look inside investment banks, um, you know, some people have some theories about you know, the, the role of testosterone in trading, for example, acting as a kind of inoculation against stress and uh, that men are naturally more stress resilient than women. Um, others would argue, and I, I think I tend to lean that way myself, that um, actually investment banks um, are very male environments that have been designed by men for men um, and they're not particularly friendly to women. Um, certainly in the investment space there's some evidence that women can make more um, sensible investors than men. They tend to make fewer stupid mistakes. Some of that's a confidence issue. We know that, um, you know, for example, around IQ, um, if you ask somebody to estimate their own IQ, women typically underestimate their IQ by 10 points and men typically overestimate it by 10 points. Um, I suspect there's similar kinds of effects go on in, uh, in investment and men are more prone to the problem of believing they've got more skill than they really have. Um, so it may be that um, there, you know, there would be some advantages uh, to, for having more women in, in investment. Um, it's, it's kind of hard to tell because um, in a lot of the research I've done, we've had insufficiently large numbers of women that we can make a sensible comparison between men and women. So even though, even with all your research, you know, there just wasn't the numbers to really be able to identify, or, and maybe that be the next paper then? Well, if we can find somewhere that's got enough women traders that it makes a reasonable sample, that's actually a challenge. <laughs>